Hello, and welcome back to Where Wendy Travels, Where Wendy Creates. I'm so excited today. We are going to continue making our junk journal covers with our trims. And again, just being real, real rough, we could do the, what was it, 10 by 16? Pulling it across, getting that measurement, and then adding probably two inches to it. We may overlap. And then I'm going to sew on both sides of this as well. All right where I'm going to cut. And that way it does not come apart. Pull along that thread that I don't pull that out. Then we're going to trim this one. We are going to lose some pieces on the side. That's okay. We expected that, but that's why we sew it so we don't lose more. But imagine that maybe cut in half throughout a sheet of paper that we're going to make paper with. All right. So we're definitely going to keep that. Want to collect all of those pieces. And you can see the other end here at Hobby Lobby. They really have it coming undone. Uh, so we're going to have to look at that and sew it together. Uh, but not right now. So we're going to put that back there. Okay, so let's get this sewn around. Again, we're going to determine our top, determine our bottom. And we're going to start on the outside, just in a little bit from the binding. Determine our inside or outside. And I think I'm gonna lock in my stitch with a straight stitch and then I'm gonna move it over to a zigzag as well. Okay. So I've locked in my stitch there and now I want to zip it over to a zigzag stitch, and we're going to sew all the way around this one. Now our needle pivot. Now this one, because the edges are not cut away, is oopsie. See, going to jerk into there. I got to hold that down. When I pivot and start going. So put my foot down, and then I've got to hold those threads down so it doesn't jump into it. Now I think, because of the way I cut this file folder, that the edge may not have, and it did stick, so I'm good there. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip this around. Start down on this side. That turns, foot down, hold it down. Always gonna want to jump in there and hold onto those strings and pull that apart. Now we're gonna pull off the edging as soon as we get this done so you'll see what that looks like. I, I believe the original one was done in the same or similar ribbon. this binding once now um, but again I'm gonna flip it over go around with uh, lace or fabric on the inside just for looks and proof -fru on the inside maybe even add inside pockets in most of this but I wanted to do the outside first because I want that inside stitching to disappear See, we've just barely caught it on that part. Uh, inside stitching to disappear when I put in those extra pockets and fabric and frou-frou. So it's gonna work out perfectly. Okay, so we're at the corner. We're gonna hold that down, turn it, put my foot down, hold it again, and go right up. And again, 
again, you got to manhandle this sometimes. Because you are working with a, a quite flimsy material. But I like the junk journals to be huggable and lovable. So again, that way, that's the reason why I use the fabric on top of the lighter surfaces like the cereal boxes, the file folders, um, really anything you get out of your kitchen cabinet that has a box to it, you can turn that into a junk journal. So, um, but again, that is lighter weight. We are putting a heavier um, and the pages make it heavy and bulky as well. So I like to be able to hug them and, uh, and this one, it does look like I did more than two inches on that side as well. So we're gonna see what that looks like when we come around. Put our foot down, hold that. That one's not turning as well. Again, manhandle it a little bit. All right. And we're not gonna come to the very end. Lock in that stitch, turn it back to, lift my needle, turn it back to a single stitch. Lock in that stitch. Decide where we're gonna end this, and then sew on both sides as well, so it does not fray. when we do cut it here just like the first time we are going to have those extra uh, pieces from inside of there come apart that is a-okay looks like we did that actually perfect so look I have no pieces coming apart there so it ended perfectly and this piece will put maybe even on the bottom of a page pocket so that's pretty Okay, come back over here, finish sewing it down right here on the bottom. And we are almost ready for some magic. So hold tight with me just one minute and I'm going to show you some beautiful magic. Junk journal magic. And go back over to my zigzag stitch. Okay, are we ready for some magic? I wanna show you this. Are we ready? We're gonna grab this anywhere and we are going to pull it. So let's take it at the end maybe and just pull it. And watch those frays, look at those frays. They just come apart and live life happily. Okay, ready? See, they're all tight. We're gonna pull it apart. We're gonna free all those frays to just play. We're gonna take it all the way around. And this thread at the end, it just keeps them from getting crazy when they're in the store. But look how gorgeous that is. I love this. I just think that's like a lion's mane. <laughs> all right, so let's put that back here and start the next. And I did bring out, um, for these uh, little recipes, I found this one in the closet. And I think, I think I have both ends loose here. I'm not sure if it's cut or not. We're gonna find out. Nope, looks like it's both ends. So let's just measure this one off and put this one around. Again, soft, huggable, lovable. Just love these so much. And I think they really just go great with this color. And this is a little bit stretchy, not much. About the 16 inches, I can probably stretch it to 17 inches. Um, so even though we're measuring it, it may be a little off if you're precise just because of the stretch. 
So I'm, oops, see, it did come off. It is two pieces. And believe it or not, we're gonna have to cut just about that much off, it looks like. So let me go ahead, since I got excited over that, and uh, measure this again, make sure I am somewhat accurate. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut this here. Don't think this will fray as much, so it's a little bit more friendly. And this taped end, I'm just gonna pull that off because I don't want that there. Okay, I'm frays a little bit, not bad at all. We're gonna sew that down and she'll be perfect. Okay, so now we decide which is the inside, which is the outside. I think they're both perfect, so we're gonna say this is the outside. And just like the others, we are going to start with this end so we can go around. I think I did say that I wanted this as the bottom. Let me double check. Yes, I'm good with this being the bottom. Okay. And again, we're going to probably lock in with a straight stitch and then we're gonna move over to, we're on zigzag, let's keep on zigzag. We're fine with zigzag. Okay. Now this, because it is a larger piece, the corners are gonna be a little bit different. So I'm pulling it back from the corner. We're going to fold that over, make our little square. Right up. Okay. Good, good, good. And this one is white, one that because it is so soft and, and beautiful, I may decide to uh, go ahead and have this on both the inside as well as the outside of the journal, but I haven't decided that yet. So we're just putting it on the outside and then the side. Pull it up a little bit. I want to cover that. All right. Oh, I love this. I just think that gray goes with that black and white so well. I am loving that. Back from the corner, needle down, pivot. And I'm not gonna trim anything off of here. I've just got about one inch overlapping. If that, yeah, I've got a good inch and a half overlapping. And I think I'm gonna leave that in. Maybe less than that. So I'm gonna have right at an inch overlapping. And that just looks beautiful. I have no problem with that at all. And I'm gonna needle down. Uh, actually, let me make a needle on the outside. Pivot. in just a little bit to stop any possibility of fraying because we like to manhandle our journals and we do not want them coming apart look how yummy and oh, I just love the sound I love everything about this part this is just absolutely gorgeous yummy yummy I love this one okay I'm loving them all <laughs> okay so we have another one that looks just like it I've got a mocha I've got some wheels I've got some uh, cabin woods. Uh, let's see, which do we want to use next and what yummy should we put on it? Do I want two the same or am I gonna do them differently? I love the browns with brown. Spokes in the wheels. Let's go ahead and use this one again, I think, for the mocha do a mocha and it once again has a lot 
over. We're gonna have this be our outside, maybe. This be our outside. We want pockets down here. Hmm. What yummies can I dream up for this real quick? I might go ahead and take this and add some pockets before we do the outside border. This once, because I'm even thinking, I'm even thinking maybe I want pockets both inside uh, and outside because I have, on this one I cut it to where I have all the manila folder on one side and this added piece and manila folder on this side. Now I actually asked for a quarter um, yard, which should be nine inches. And for some reason it did not, it was not nine inches. Clearly you can see this turned out to be, what is that, six, seven inches. Um, so disappointment can easily be fixed with some additional pockets on the inside and outside of that piece. So I think we're gonna hold off on doing that. Let's do a pocket. And you have seen me put on, I think, each of the four different pieces. So let's go ahead and take it off camera. Let's get you up to speed. So I thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me this time. Please, please, please subscribe down below. And you are going to see me add some pockets to these journals, both to the ones that already have their sides on them and to those who are not yet done. So I'm loving these so much and I know that you are going to too. Thank you so much. Have a great day.